Welcome to part one of this 3ds Max interactive VR project series. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we create a VR project using the templates in 3ds Max interactive, followed by how to create levels for this project, and we'll finish off with how to set the default level. Here we are in 3ds Max interactive, and to create our VR project, we're going to go into file and then project manager. In the project manager, we have three tabs, my projects, which are the saved projects on this computer, the templates tab, which contain the built-in templates that come with 3ds Max Interactive, and then after that, online project samples that you can download. So I'm going to go into templates and I'm going to choose desktop VR. So this template will allow us to create a VR project for either the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. Uh, VR headsets. So I'm going to hit create and then change the name. So instead of desktop VR project, let's say desktop VR front loader. And then after that, we choose where to save it. So I'll hit um, OK with what's here and then I'm going to click on create. So it will take a bit of time to copy and compile the data. So I will join you again when this is all done. And the project is fully compiled. And what we're presented with is the one level that comes with the VR template. And that's a concept you need to um, keep in mind when you're designing anything in 3ds Max Interactive. So like I mentioned in a previous video, um, v uh, 3ds Max Interactive is a video game engine. And for VR, we're essentially creating video games. And in general, they're divided into levels. One of the main reasons uh, in our case is to try to keep things as light as possible. So for example, if we're going to um, create a building, an interior with multiple floors, it may be a good idea to divide each floor into separate levels to keep things um, as easy as possible for the computer. So um, you can see here, if we go into this, um, this is a little bit like the uh, a smaller version of the VR uh, museum that, uh, that's in the online projects. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our own level. We don't really want this. And the way we do this is by going into File and then New Level. So now what we have is we do have a new level but we should save this. So you can see by default, it's bringing us into the folder where we created our project. And what I'm gonna do is I'll call this the front loader, <clears throat> excuse me, level, and then go ahead and hit save. So let's open up the project manager just to get a better idea of what we have. So if we take a look at our projects, we basically have our desktop VR front loader uh, project, which at the moment contains two levels, the front loader level that we just created, and then the VR learning level um, that comes built in with the template. So um, what I want to do now is, well, if I actually were to uh, start the project, we need to make sure that it goes to the correct level, because if I were to test this out, by clicking run project, what's gonna happen is, as you can see, it brings us into uh, the VR project level, and this is not what I want. So to do that, we're gonna have to modify the script. So it's not as difficult as you may think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into script Lua and then project. And what I wanna do is keep in mind the name of the level that I created. And it is case sensitive, so make sure that you um, spell it exactly the way you see here. So front underscore loader underscore level. So let's go back into our script, Lua, and then our project Lua. And I'll just double click to open it up. And really all we need to do is change this first thing here. So instead of VR learning, we're going to go front underscore loader underscore level and then once we're done we go ahead and save this so click on the save or hit control s 
and we are actually done. So if I were to go now into run project, you can see that it does open up our new empty level.